Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of No Escape. So, Owen Wilson stepping out of comedy to do an action horror thriller. And I was very intrigued going into the film. And the end result? It's all right. Not great, but definitely not terrible either. So what do we get right here? Well, I think Owen Wilson does a very good job. He's convincing in the role. He's always super likable. And he does the action-y kind of stuff really good. And Pierce Brosnan is also really good as kind of an old mentor. He chews up the scenery a little bit, but overall, I thought he was a very welcomed addition. And everybody across the board, including the kids that we have starring here, do a very good job with their acting roles. Also, the stakes are high in this film. You feel the danger everywhere. And it is very suspenseful. It's heart pounding. It is action. From the moment that the action starts, it pretty much doesn't relent with the suspense all the way through until the end. And it's dealing with a real world application. We are in actual Earth dealing with a problem that very well could arise or could be happening right now. We just may or may not even know about it. And the whole business about water and the water industry and you know having the United States give aid is a very hot topic and continues to be a hot topic. So to see a film at least begin to um, go into that territory is refreshing. However, that does kind of start my negatives as well, is we're introduced to that theory, but then it kind of backs off. We're introduced to a lot of theories about, you know, the moral ambiguity when your family is in danger, but, you know, you're having to do aggressive things to get your family out of danger, but maybe you just killed somebody else's father. Or maybe you just killed, you know, you're killing someone else's family to protect yours. They may or may not be in control. It did touch on the fact that really there's not right or wrong. It's just two different point of views on one issue. Both are very passionate about their stance and thus we get this collision in the middle. So the big complaint about all of that mouthful I just said is that we are introduced to some really great, strong, powerful messages that need to be heard right now, but we only touch the top level. And a movie like this was really begging for us to go deeper into those psychological issues, to really push the envelope with the film we're given. Instead, we're given a pretty generic thriller suspense. And while I think a lot of this stuff is really suspenseful, action-packed, I also think that it was really small in scope and we are given a lot of the typical thriller tropes. We've seen it before, there's not too much that's groundbreaking, mostly because they don't push the envelope on those pressing issues. But for what it is, it's a good movie. It is a strong suspense thriller, one of which we haven't seen in a while. We haven't seen a movie of this breed too often. It's usually all out gore or, you know, a home invasion style movie. Not a political warfare, get my family, keep them alive kind of film. So is No Escape worth a full price ticket? Definitely not. But it would make an okay matinee. I'm not sure it's right for the matinee setting. But I think it will make a very entertaining, very strong rental once it comes out on the on-demand and red box circuit. So that has been my review of No Escape. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see No Escape? And what is your favorite Owen Wilson film? Let me know either in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!